Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot 2017 50.3 F3425A1. Um, I apologize, I've been doing a, an Autopilot test video version of every single version that my car has been getting. I did one of 50.2 that I hadn't posted yet. Um, my intention was I just haven't had the time to edit these together and put them up. Um, unfortunately, I recorded that one, but I forgot to pull the footage off of my dash cam, and my dash cam automatically overrode it, so I don't have a 50.2 video anymore, so we're going to have to go with 50.3. However, 50.3 is probably exactly the same as 50.2 from an autopilot perspective, because 50.3, as we all know, is the update that introduced automatic wipers. So, ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my... <laughs> all right, let's get back into the lane. We're going to have to try that one again. Wow. Okay, so it auto-corrected into the center lane way too much. I'm gonna turn around. I'm not going all the way around the loop. <clears throat> and then it um, it corrected itself into the center lane instead of the lane it was supposed to be in. So I'm gonna go back out and try that one again. Interesting. So. Just for the 50.2 update, um, I didn't really see anything spectacularly different. It did a pretty good job of lane keeping in these um, lanes, and in fact, I was even musing in that video about the idea of coming up with a more complicated test because it seems like it's handling this test just fine, and if this test is just gonna run perfectly every time, or close to perfectly every time for every autopilot video I'm gonna do, it's not really gonna be very interesting to watch because it's just gonna be the same result over and over again. All right, so I'm flipping a U-turn. Let's try that again. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a bit of a cold. The brunt of which was recorded in the 50.2 video, so <coughs> at least on the bright side, you're not going to have to listen to that coughing. All right, so 30 miles an hour going into the same turn. Let's see what happens. So interestingly enough, even though I just got 50.3 a few days ago, I actually have another update already queued on my car. Um, one thing that I've noticed with the 50.3 updates, and I posted this on the Reddit thread, is that I've been seeing more frequent camera glitches with the rear camera on 50.3 than I had in previous versions. Over the course of the year that I've had the car, I'd say the camera has bugged out on me. All right, so it's, oh my God, that is a distinct difference. That's crazy. Huh. Okay, so 50.2 didn't do that. 50.2 ran this just fine. I guess we'll do the rest of the loop. The only thing I can do later is try the test again on a sunny part of the day, since obviously it's a bit overcast. So the lighting conditions are not exactly the same as how I usually run these tests, but I unfortunately can't control the weather. <clears throat> but as I was saying, um, with 50.3, I've been seeing more camera glitches than I have over the course of the entire lifetime that I've had the car. In the, I've had this car since December 2016, and I'd say maybe three, maybe four times in the entire time that I've had the car. I'll get into the car, I'll start it up, I'll put it in reverse, I'll see the rear camera, and the rear camera will have some sort of bizarre glitch, like it'll be cropped weird, or it'll have a weird colored hue, like it's not, um, like it'll be green instead of the normal, you know, full scale of color. Since getting the 50.3 update, however, um, I have had two camera glitches occur in the less than a week since I've had this update. Uh, the first camera glitch was the um, rear image was not mirrored as it normally is, so it was as though I were actually just facing backwards, which meant everything that was on my driver's left side was on the right side in the camera image and vice versa. I don't, you know, in case you haven't noticed before, the image that you see in the rear camera is actually mirrored from left to right. So it resembles the type of image that you would see in a mirror. So what you see on the left is what you would get on the left. Obviously, if you were facing the opposite direction, it would be reversed from that, which is why they make a mirror image of it. So that happened while I was driving down the highway. Rebooted the center console while I was driving. It came back up just fine. Another time I was driving and uh, the rear camera was purple, for lack of a better description. Pretty much everything on the camera was purple. So uh, I rebooted the center console. Once again, it fixed it. But again, these happened pretty close to one another. Not to mention this wildly different performance on the autopilot between 50.2 and 50.3. Let's do the rest of our normal loop here and see how it does. This is interesting. All right, let's see how it funnels down into this lane. In 50.2, I was noticing it was cutting over into the center lane just a little bit, but not significantly. 
Um, like the tires were definitely touching the center yellow line, but uh, it certainly wasn't doing what we just saw it do twice in a row. So the reason I was saying that I also have a newer version than uh, 50.3 queued up on my car already is because I had my car down at the service center earlier, uh, it was just yesterday, uh, because my charging cable failed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, my mobile charging cable started failing, it started giving me an error light on it instead of the normal circulating green lights, it gave me flashing red lights, it gave me three flashing reds, and on the car it gave an error code indicating that there was a fault with the charge cable. Uh, Tesla Service Center had me bring it in, they tested it out, confirmed that the cable was indeed bad, and they replaced the entire mobile charging kit. Alright, it's doing nicely here. Very assertive steering. I think a little bit more assertive than the last version. And I'm starting to regret that uh, I didn't save the 50.2 data in time. All right, it's thinking about the turn lane. Sides against it. Asking me to touch the wheel. I just touched it. Touching. All right, there you go. And it's doing fine through here. Let's make sure we don't run headlong into that. Well, I don't know what it was. Ford. And there are no stopped cars at this intersection, so I'm not going to get a good test on that. Um, in the 50.1 video that I did with the Model X, I was observing some very good behavior um, in terms of the car stopping or coming to a stop or recognizing stopped cars ahead of me. Um, when I tried it with 50.2 in my own car, it didn't seem like it was working quite as well. <coughs> it wasn't terrible. It was still it was picking up cars from time to time, but I didn't feel very comfortable with um, how late it seemed to be breaking. I'll re-engage and see how it does with this truck that's not in direct line of sight for my car. I'll have got out of my way already, so. Alright, we'll make the turn here. Turn on autopilot, set it to 45 miles per hour this, over the speed limit, which is how everybody drives in the US. It's doing a good job of lane keeping here. Eh, it's touch. It's getting a little closer to the lane line that I would like. I mean, I like the fact that it's steering assertively. If they could just get it to the point that it would hover more in the middle of the lane on these sharp local road turns. Autopilot, see how it does on this section. And you know what? We'll take that. We'll take that section of the road one more time. We're going to give it one more shot and see what it does. That is that's bizarre. I mean, even through ever since the 42 update, and even the updates that sort of felt like steps backwards, I've never seen it do what it just did twice in a row. Let's see if it does it three times in a row. But yeah, mobile charging cable busted. Uh, Tesla Service Center replaced it under warranty. Turns out the mobile charging cable that is provided uh, with the car actually has the same warranty as the car. So four years, and then presumably another four years if you extend the warranty of the car. So yeah, no issues there. They replaced the entire thing, even all my adapters and connectors. They did replace it with the same type of one that I had before. They did not replace it with the newer, um, less expensive and smaller mobile charging kit. Yeah, yeah, touch the wheel. I touched the wheel. All right, there you go. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like the car has been less sensitive about realizing wheel torque when it's asking me to uh, touch the steering wheel. I don't know if that's just my perception, but uh, I feel like I have to jiggle the wheel more than I used to in the past to get it to recognize that uh, I am indeed still in the car and awake and not completely zoned out. Oh, man, you're gonna mess up my test. Well, we'll see, we'll see what the car does anyway. All right, well, the car is staying in the lane of the lower speed. I guess I can turn around and try to test in the opposite direction. Of course, I just passed a mail truck doing the exact same thing. Don't these people know that we're testing autopilot videos? Come on, guys. Get with the program. nothing there. Oi, jeez. 
All right, well, so much for the rest of that test. Okay, um, I'll do more testing on my own and I'll post more information on the Reddit thread. But um, yeah, 50.3 looks like it may have taken a, a little bit of a step backwards from 50.2. That's somewhat unexpected. I was honestly expecting this video to look exactly like the 50.2 video that I didn't save in time before it got deleted. But uh, I'm glad I did this test before I updated to the next version. Um, I do have a new version in the hopper. When I took my car into the service center, they told me there is actually a newer version that is available. Um, it's not necessarily gone wide yet. They had the ability to load it onto my car. They loaded it on as a download, and my car now has the option of installing it. They did, however, and this was interesting, specifically warn that um, it's sometimes when you apply an update it's possible that the update version that the customers are capable of seeing that like all of us can see in our in our tesla console um, may not necessarily match a more granular internal build number that they might see so when i applied this update they said specifically it's like well it might still be 50.3 it just might be a newer version of 50.3 and you just might not be able to see the the level of granularity that uh, specifies which version that is so well, I guess we'll try this out, um, and if I have time today, I'm going to record my another autopilot test video with that version, and then get that video posted as soon as I have it edited. So, uh, I guess that's all I've got for right now, and thanks for watching.